What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Madden 22 Tip Tuesday video. These Tip Tuesdays are something I do almost every Tuesday in which I break down the new metas of the game, what's hot, what's not, some glitches that you guys may not know of. And hopefully you could use this info and implement it into your game and hopefully you know it can help you become a better Madden player. If you do enjoy these Tip Tuesdays, it's a series I've been doing for a while now. Please consider leaving a like button, uh, subscribing, and just in general sharing commenting all that good stuff because it really does help me grow it helps with the youtube algorithm and in general man it just makes my day today's video i'm gonna be breaking down and talking about one of the most underrated zones in the game and what in my opinion i believe is the best zone in the game and no this is not like any type of zone drop uh cloud flat or you know zone drop curl flat hook zones this is just a stock zone in the game you could put zone drops on it if you'd like but in general, you know, it really is just a good zone that does what it wants. In general, it is really just a zone that, you know, you could go out there and freestyle and you could put it almost on any player on your field. And that zone is the three wreck. I have a couple clips for you guys as well, but let me break this down real quick. All right, guys. So the zone I'm going to be talking about today is the three wreck. It's a zone that's been used for so many years. But, you know, this year, again, it is one of the better zones, if not the best zone, in my opinion. And the reason why I say that is it's so versatile. You could do a lot of things with it. And I'm going to show you here in this video. In my last like two tip Tuesdays ago, I made a little glimpse of it talking about, you know, uh, cover one robber. So here we are again with the cover one robber. Um, this is where you could use your three wreck. See right here, guys, cover one robber. Here is the three wreck. I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like. Uh, don't even peep like the coverage. This is solely on the three wreck. Um, like I said, I run 3-3-5 wide. This zone right here helps me a lot in defending all the underneath stuff. Um, basically acts like a second user. You can shade it up, you can shade it down. For this play, I'm gonna shade it down and I'm gonna let you guys see what it does on its own. It is kind of just like a second user. See right here, he's gonna go and guard one of the drags. Um, the only bad side about this is like, you don't know which drag it's gonna guard sometimes, but you know, the more I, you play with the shades, um, you could probably shade him down and shade him inside rather than, you know, shading him outside. Let's see what he does on this play right here. You can see the three wreck is going to come down and he guards the drag better than he did the last play. I shaded him down and shaded him in, uh, inside. Right here, we're going to do this uh, shade outside look, shade down and outside. And let's see how he plays. Um, honestly, this too is for my benefit. So you see right here, if once I shaded down and outside, he actually went and guarded the running back by himself. That was pretty glitchy. So, you know, if you've been having, I know for sure I'm gonna implement that in my game. If you've been having trouble guarding that running back wheel route, just peep this. This is a shade down and a shade outside. Hopefully it works again. And yeah, I don't know what happened right there. The inconsistencies, I won't even blame it on the zone. I'd blame it on the game, but that was glitchy. Let me try it one more time and see what's going on with that three wreck shade down shade outside and i think i know why it worked and it's gonna work again um he actually got burnt but you know those wheel routes if you know you can't really lob them over the top like that um just for the sole fact that you know if you try doing that it gets burnt but what actually ended up happening right there is the guy that was manned up to him actually traded off um so you know that's a unique thing you could do if you want to run all out man um and you want to just have your third go guard the wheel route you could shade outside and watch he's gonna go and run and guard him and you know watch i'm gonna try to throw this and he just makes up ground and you know it may look open but trust me guys those wheel routes you really can't lob over the top i've tried it a couple times in the past and it has not worked out in my favor but yeah man you, you get what i'm trying to say uh this three wreck is really really like kind of acts like a second user you can manipulate it in so many ways so many ways that i haven't even figured out yet See right here, we're gonna send a blitz. We're gonna come in free, but look at the three wreck. Don't mind, don't look at my user. It's hard to call hike and user at the same time, but look at the three wreck and what he does. This is a, sh like, I don't think I shaded right here, but look, he be he's gonna come down in the box. Essentially at this, like at this time right here, he is technically guarding two players. He's guarding this guy. And if he does kind of throw this, I mean, he could pa maybe pass lead it up, but I mean, he there's a chance he gets an acrobat, like, you know, any given moment. Um, you could even say he's low key guarding this guy. Um, if you, I'll get into it in a second, like who I use in my three rec, why I use them there, and you know, the glitches of that. But if you move this third inside a little bit, um, they really can't like fit that over the middle. 
um, you know that third is guarding it they could really throw it like right here maybe and that's about it and you know even then it's not a, a completely safe read so once more if you want to abuse this three rec i'm sure you could find it in so many different formations a safety three rec is always going to be kind of just like yeah um you know it's pretty like good uh it comes down and baits for a second if you send a blitz uh you really you can't really decipher that that coverage and that three rec um see right here i'm gonna shade up this play let's see what he guards i'm assuming he's gonna guard the post i see right here he goes and guards the post so it, you could just do so much with it and you know i gotta tap into the full potential of the three rec myself i oftentimes uh cut myself short with the shades i do with the coverage i run um with the adjustments i do so right here obviously he's gonna go and guard the post um you know it is what it is uh you know there are a couple things open but you know if you were you know if you're playing max coverage everything would have been covered and you know it's like that double post post you don't even have to worry about that you run a three rec you shade up it's really not a play anymore one more time for you guys who want to see it uh we are going to play max coverage right here right here this is a double post uh, this is a mesh post post route which is honestly pretty effective as well we're gonna shade up right here and you know we did run a little bit of man i should have came out in zone but you saw what it did okay now so here's like what else you could do with it man you could do a three wreck on your linebackers man so if you are playing max coverage you're gonna want to do this and some of you guys may know this already this is how you defend a wheel route you could still throw this realistically but like look it's pretty much covered um you could try low ball throwing that but you know i wouldn't take the chance i personally don't throw that i know if it's manned up you can but with a three rec i feel like they play better and different um so honestly any type of three rec is gonna match from the linebacker to the running back right here we're gonna three rec the left side again um it's not popping up forgive me guys see right here i guess it's popping up let's see what it does right here um uh, boom go ahead and guard that for a second i know you could maybe still throw that but it's still a tough read to say the least and you could also do it from the d lineman so right here we're gonna put our d lineman in a three rec call hike and he's gonna go and match onto the running back and if you need some help in the red zone defending wheel routes that is what you're gonna want to do for the running back wheel route it's super effective i do this all the time when you do play coverage it just helps like knowing okay you know, I have a three rec on the field. He's going to go ahead and match on to something. I don't have to worry about that route anymore. Um, and he's go ahead and guard the running back on this wheel route. And yeah, you see it. I see it. Three recs are really glitchy. You can mix them in with your D line. You can mix them in with your outside linebackers uh, if you do run wide. Um, and there's the, end, the possibilities are endless. If you run odd, I would recommend, you know, putting some three recs out there. If you run an odd two, four, five odd blitz, try finding a coverage that has the three rec on the on the play so you know you can mix that in when you blitz i'm not too sure if the blitz works the same out of all the coverages but i if i do remember correctly you could run like cover four and blitz with that looper um the same way you could do as the cover two look so try mixing in that three rec and watch it go to work guys here's an example of me running a three rec in a money game i'm playing john b's and just look at what i do so the three records on the left side, I'm like, you know what? Let me just keep it there. Uh, this is a high level adjustment that you guys could do. Um, boom, I'm gonna pause the play art. Whether it be bunch, trips, bunch tight end. Um, having the three rec on the strong side, it is a risk. So what you're gonna wanna do guys is move your third. Notice how I, at the start of the play, I move Ted Hendricks on the left a little bit. He's in the third on the right. I move him to the middle of the field. That way I can't get bombed because honestly like if i kept the play art as it was the streak would have just been open to the left if he had any type of streak but you know you could do this in bunch and i've done this a couple times i should have broke that down but now i am um and you know i'll do it in my ebook as well which is coming out next week four six defensive ebook but notice how well this three rec plays on the bunch side sometimes you just have to do that rather than having three rec on the running back side every time mix it up a little bit put them on the bunch side take that calculated risk just make sure you move your third all the way to the middle of the field if it's um across the field otherwise you can get bombed or you know do something like run all out man um as you see right here this three rec is gonna play insane and go crazy absolutely bait some shit um everything is guarded dk metcalf do that and you know i instantly clipped it because i knew how glitchy it was 
the pressure was coming in i went and guarded the right side and dk metcalf just doing what he does in that three rep once more for you guys mix this zone this is the best zone in the game it does some high level baiting he he just went crazy he just went crazy i got the acrobat and you know i end up winning this game and that one of those that was one of the plays that may help me win the game but guys if you're wondering what players are the best to put on three wrecks or who do you want them up top on your three wreck i got you guys real quick um here are a couple options that you could go with i'm rocking a currently a 50 raiders team but you know honestly all you really want is height and speed on your three wreck Taylor Mays is a great option. I thought he was six foot two, but he is six foot three. Forgive me guys if I've ever, you know, doubted Taylor Mays. He's a great option, six foot three, 98 speed. In my opinion, this is the best option. Ted Hendricks, six foot seven. So he's gonna do some serious baiting in a three wreck. He's gonna play high low. He's gonna guard the running back in routes and jump back up. Um, he is 98 speed six foot seven on my raiders someone like cam chancellor if you're more of a budget squad and you have that mutt master he'd be perfect up top in a three wreck um if you do not use her if you don't use her simmons or you don't play him up top simmons is a really good example of a three wreck six foot four 99 speed and you guys get the gist of it you want someone tall and with some speed obviously they have to have some zone to do that bait in um and yeah man that's honestly um really who i think obviously we already talked about dk metcalf he is six foot three, 98 speed. I have so many tall guys on my field. As you see, that's a theme of Madden. You want high everywhere. And that's what I feel like I got everywhere on the field, even my blitzers. Another good option is Sean Taylor, six foot two, 98 speed. So you guys get the point I'm trying to say. You're gonna go out there and slap on some three wrecks, um, you know, get glitchy, bait your opponent, send that blitz and, you know, have a good coverage shell behind it. You know, make sure you have the players to do that with. So you see right here, Bo Jackson would probably be the last guy you'd want. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this Tip Tuesday. I know it came out to be a little longer, but this is a high level content that you guys want, that you guys need, and that's gonna help you get to the next level. So if you stuck to the end, leave a like button. If you guys stuck to the end, leave a like so I know who of you are trying to actually grind it out and get better on the game, who are students of the game rather than, you know, skip, 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 all right, I'm out of here. Until next time, guys, hit that sub button, hit that like button. Catch you guys in the next video, whatever it may be. Tip Tuesday, we're signing out. Peace.